And today we're going to talk about AI that runs as a smart contract on the blockchain. So that's something very different. There's a lot of blockchains for AI, tokens for AI um, being created today. Um, this, is, this is the real deal. AI that actually runs on the blockchain in fully decentralized form. Boom. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, for another YouTube video. All in crypto here. And today, as you can probably tell by the clip we played to start the video off, we are going to be talking about the internet computer ICP, a cryptocurrency project that is very quickly becoming one of my favorite projects out there. In fact, I would go as far as saying that I think the internet computer is likely going to be one of the best performing cryptocurrency assets in this bull market. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, we are in a bull market. The short term volatility that we are experiencing throughout the cryptocurrency market, we really just believe is just that short term volatility in what is a broader uptrend. And we do cover that on a daily basis in regards to my daily market updates. So if you're not already a subscriber, do consider becoming one. But what I want to do today is a number of things. Uh, yesterday, there was a Clip. There was a video released from Build Asia 2024, and Dominic Williams was actually a speaker there, and he was speaking about AI and blockchain and the kind of convergence of those two technologies and how actually ICP is at the forefront of this. And this is one of ICP already had a, a, a really impressive kind of third generation layer one blockchain, but this is one of, if not probably the biggest narratives that is likely going to see the internet computer do well has icp now just become an ai play i think it has but i think that's only one element of what the internet computer is offering and just like you said at the start there there's lots of cryptocurrency projects that actually claim to be ai blockchains but what you'll find is they're just kind of like a middleman the blockchain is kind of the middleman and actually what they're doing is leveraging centralized services putting their blockchain in the middle and then coming up with some sort of an AI language model or marketplace. Whereas the internet computer is enabling, just like its own blockchain, the actual facilitation of AI from the ground up. There's no link over to centralized kind of web two systems. It really is innovative in that nature. So we're gonna do a number of things in this video. We're gonna be playing another clip from Build Asia, where he was actually asked a question in regards to um, how can you actually scale the compute for AI on ICP? It's a really uh, obvious question to ask. And he actually answers it and explains what's coming. So I think there's a massive narrative in regards to AI generally, and ICP is going to massively capitalize off that. Once we've played that clip that we're going to get into in just a second, we will be diving over to the charts and reaffirming and re-updating you guys on our ICP price prediction, where the price is currently at and where we believe it's going in the short, mid to long term. So strap yourselves in. Without further ado, guys, let's dive into that clip of Dominic Williams when asked how ICP intends to scale the compute needed for AI. How does ICP plan to handle the significant computational demands of AI, AI applications? Well, firstly, I mean, the internet computer is scalable without bounds. I mean, it's, a third, it's, I mean, it's the only third generation blockchain, but it was built that way from the beginning. So, um, you know, Definity is a, is a portmanteau of decentralized and Infinity. So, you know, we've been working on this for a very long time. Internet computers, the product of more than a thousand years of R&D effort now, and it scales. It scales properly. There's a lot of people that say that blockchain scales. Today, there's only one blockchain in the world that actually truly scales uh, without them. It's the internet computer. So, um, and, it, and it's also extremely efficient. Um, so I think the, the bigger challenge for us is um, things like instruction limits. So I, I mentioned that a single transaction can span multiple blocks. Uh, when I gave that demo, you can see the video demo on, on X. Um, of, of, of a neural network smart contract doing image classification. Uh, a single classification uh, was about 20 billion instructions, 20 billion WASM instructions. Um, that's actually just just doable, but we're increasing instruction limits. Uh, I don't know, you can imagine we're getting up to 100 billion um, in the next few months. Uh, so some of the limitations like that are being re removed from the network. Um, we're also making it much more efficient There's something called SIMD instructions that we we like a SIMD instruction set, which is used by AI that we've determined is deterministic. So that's being um, added to the smart contract environment. And, and with a few other things, we, we think that within a few months, AI will run with you know as much as 10x the efficiency on the internet computer that it does today. Um, so you know we're addressing uh, the, the, the the you know the challenge the the challenge of AI compute um, 
both by uh, increasing limits and by making uh, the execution environment more efficient as pertains to running uh, AI computation. But you know, you, the, the network scales without limits, so we can run any number of AIs. You know, if people want to run AI, then eventually, as the networks, the, the network maintains a buffer capacity, and the node providers who run these things called node machines. I um, mean, you know, it, it, it runs on a sovereign network, and um, there's a community of about 125 companies around the world that run these um, this special node hardware. And as the network starts running out of uh, capacity, they'll just add more machines. A anyone can become a node provider, by the way. It's a permissionless network. So, um, yeah, and, and the other the other limit with, with respect to AI is is actually main memory. So, currently, uh, the internet computer uses 32-bit uh, WASM, 32-bit WebAssembly virtual machine. And that means that each actor smart contract, each canister smart contract, only has four gigabytes of main memory pers persistent memory pages, and uh, you know that limits the size of the models. So you know if you've got a large language model, you're really getting into the you know several billion parameters. So um, you know you know you need roughly need double the memory. So if you've got a if you've got a neural network that has like two billion parameters, well you're going to probably need four gig to to run it. That's the limit currently, but the good news is in one to two months, uh, we're anticipating the internet computer will move to 64-bit WASM. And this will enable us to increase the uh, personal contract main memory limit enormously. And, and you know, our, our target is to have large language models running on the internet computer as smart contracts as soon as possible. Unbelievably impressive. And I wanted to play that clip because it kind of puts into perspective where ICP kind of is generally against the rest of the cryptocurrency space and from an AI perspective actually where it's going. This is why and we're going to continue to make videos on this, continue to update you guys on it. We believe that ICP is going to be one of the best performing cryptocurrency projects in this bull market and actually it's becoming one of my favorite projects. It's very true to the evolution of the cryptocurrency space in regards to being decentralized, autonomous, sovereign. Um, and on top of that, it's extremely scalable. The technology is very, very impressive. And now with this kind of AI narrative and overlap, we think you've got an amazing formula um, for a amazing project. So what I want to do now, guys, actually dive into a little bit of price action, a little bit of technical analysis on the internet computer. It's very, very much just following that technical roadmap that we set out for it. Remember, we still have, and we haven't made the target yet, that $24.40 target. There was a target that was made it from this small continuation pattern. It wasn't a pattern that I managed to successfully trade, just given the fact that it was volatile, it kind of ran where my stops were, but then actually did go on to target. And occasionally you do get um, things like that happen. But what it's done is it's it, it's reached a short-term target. Let's talk about and drop down the time frame so we can show this as we're going along. It reached this short-term target that I had from this bull pennant which was around about 19, actually overshot, it was around about $19.70. Uh, and then it's pulled back and it's actually pulled back into what I believe is going to be found as support. I don't think it's going to come too much lower before finding its feet and then making its way up to our $24.43 target that we had from this double bottom. Remember, there's a lot of things going on. There's a lot of overlap here in regards to stage analysis, in regards to traditional technical analysis. And it all leads us to the same conclusion, along with our macro market analysis and crypto internally in the direction that we think it is heading in. Uh, I'm going to show you total two in just a second. It's not just the ICP USD chart, but it's ICP Bitcoin and ICP DOM that has us. Very excited. We're going to show you that in just a second. It's not going to be long before you turn around and this target is met. Once we get there, you may then set up for broader continuation uh, and look to go to $200. We do believe the overall cryptocurrency market is heading in the right direction, is heading in a supportive direction to see our price prediction for ICP take place. This is the total two, still a chart I see nobody talking about. And we think this is going to $3.7 trillion. And in fact, within what we're expecting to be a right shoulder forming, you do actually have a smaller pattern that would essentially see you run the neckline, thus triggering and setting in motion that march towards $3.7 trillion. Remember, the cryptocurrency space is currently at 1.1. Let's quickly fly by ICP.D, which is ICP dominance, which is another chart that we're bullish on. We are just waiting for this to play out, ladies and gentlemen. So if we think the overall cryptocurrency market or total two is going to head to $3.7 trillion, 
ICP during that time is actually going to be gaining market share. So doing well in regards to what the dominance chart is showing us. Also, ICP BTC looks very similar, very good. Uh, and this is some of the reasons technically why we believe leaving the fundamentals aside, ICP is going to do spectacularly in this bull market. So that is all I have for you, ladies and gentlemen. I'm wishing you all a fantastic Friday. Do uh, make sure to become a subscriber. I don't think you get analysis like this on any of the cryptocurrencies like we deliver here at All In Crypto. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a fantastic Friday and I'll see you all in the next one.